He is an energy healer, an intuitive healer. He is a, a somatic healer. I mean, there's all different descriptors for you, right, Scott? Yeah, it's coming to be that there's m- many bullet points to my pedigree, yeah. Which is actually kind of cool because that also suggests to me, and having had the experience with you now, that your your uh, skill set is very large and all-encompassing so that there's so many people you can um, support in their healing. But the, the thing that Scott's talking about, and because he's like in a different country from me, doesn't mean he has to be in the same room with me in order to support my healing. And this is something called non-locality. You can be in different places, different points on the earth. I was going to say, or also other dimensions, but you can be in other places. But once it's aligned, then you, the individual, can hold that alignment. And a healing experience with me is not about me. It's about the person I'm working with. Which I so appreciated, Scott. And I appreciate you um, stating this clearly for people that are listening, because there are lots of people out there, everybody, there's lots of people out there and they are promoting themselves as the real deal. And you, So if you are going to work with a healer, really listen to your intuition as well, because just because somebody says I'm an intuitive doesn't mean that's so. I want to, first of all, acknowledge you, Scott, um, because coming from a long, long ancestral line of intuitives and healers and the, 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 for, (laughs) for many centuries, No wonder you fail like you had a crown of thorns on your head, right? For many centuries, those people were uh, persecuted. Correct. Right? Violently. 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 I have a lot of that in my personal past life history. Mm -hmm. So So I just want to acknowledge you for stepping in again, because you've been doing this for centuries yourself, right? So stepping in again and then allowing you to be the vehicle that heals the ancestral lineage that was abused and denied and everything. So you're like the new, the brand new threshold. To the point that you have to decide, well, make a, make a decision, right? You know, right. believe what you believe, don't believe a dogmatic approach. And that's right. what I really like about promoting my own work is I'm non-dogmatic. I read energy. The energy speaks for itself. So exactly. it's not um, coming, it, yes, it comes from different sources, those energies, but the dogma behind it, um, I just wasn't able to attach to. And so that's when I applied the word energy. So when my mom passed in September, my right arm did a whole bunch of stuff and my neck was pinching nerves. And I'm telling you guys all this, my my shoulder blades could never release. I was in constant pain. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. And so Scott said, and I'm working it through and I'm all, I thought I was almost done and I'm tagging all the different ancestral things and family of origin things. And I'm releasing and cutting cords and and I get on this call with Scott and he's like, okay. So right between your shoulder blades, I'm like, what? Okay. He's like, do you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, he goes, and he, he could, spe- you, you, Scott, you specifically got right where it was from the very beginning, which I, I personally appreciate because I don't like pussyfooting around. Okay. You know, let's just get it done. And, right. and one thing led to another. He, you know, at one point you said you are an energy plumber, and that's exactly what happened because of the images you asked me to uh, visualize within my body to help facilitate the release, um, they were very easy to understand images that then working with you and together, we could release a lot of it. Very In much fact, so. I am, yeah. I am 95% pain-free now. Wow. So, that's impressive. Good yeah, for you. And my back is healed. My back, I was seeing a chiropractor often because of my back. I saw him on Monday. He's like, whoa. <laughs> Whatever you did just worked. I was like, 
Thank you very much. <laughs> so the, I, the fact, I'm just saying this out loud for everybody. The, the, the fact that you, Scott, can see intuitively the patterning of an individual's body and find where the trauma, the emotional trauma has lodged. And a lot of people don't realize that dis-ease is, I want to say, 100% relatable to emotional trauma and drama. At least in my body, it is. It's connected, definitely. Yeah. 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 